So this is our diamond ring that we've created in under five minutes of time. And um, it's got the diamond on top. It's the ring is, you know, on kind of an oval shape, but it fits a finger. It, my finger is a little bit too big for it. But I bet my wife's finger would actually fit real nice in there. And then uh, we got some embellishments on the side, some maybe like rubies and some gold pieces on the side uh, to just enhance it a little bit more. So I think it turned out fairly well. I hope you decide to play along with us and uh, see if you can beat the clock in five minutes of time and see if you can make something that's better than this. Let's see. Um, I hope that you subscribe to the channel and play along with us each and every day. We release a new video every single day. Um, and uh, I hope that you can play along with us each and every day. Now let's go check out how I built this diamond ring in under five minutes of time. And I hope that you go get your Legos, pause the video right now, and go get them, and then play along with us. In five minutes of time, you should be able to build something that, uh, that you're proud of. So hopefully you can do that and play along with us. But now let's go check out how I built this diamond ring. Cool. <laughs> Welcome back to my Lego lab and today in our five minute video we're going to build a ring. It's our bonus day and I thought okay well Valentine's Day is coming up. A lot of people celebrate Valentine's by proposing with a large ring. So let's go see if we can build a diamond ring or some sort of ruby ring given the amount of time that we have um, and let's see what we can do. So let's put five minutes on the clock and I want you guys at home to play along with us so get your Legos out pause this video get your Legos out and when we start the clock I want to see if you guys can make a creation within the amount of time that we have let's hit start okay so we got a ring so this is gonna be really tricky so I'm looking at these already and saying to myself okay well I can make a, a gem or uh, maybe a ruby out of something like that you know when we did jewelry we use these items um, to uh, identify that uh, it was you know a precious st stone of some sort so let's see maybe we can make a ring like that or like that right um, maybe um, maybe we make the whole thing upside down let's see how are we gonna make the band that's the tricky part so this this is sort of gold, not really. Um, it's a brown color, of course, tan color. But I could see that being utilized. We could use the pinks, right? Maybe we utilize the pinks. Maybe we, maybe we use these for the tops and bottoms. And then we use everything else. So if I put my finger here, we could build around it, right? Do I have to go out that far? Actually, no, I do not. So something like that. This might be a quick build. Don't know. Let's keep trying. So if we did something like that, is that now a ring? I can put that on my finger. Is that declared as a ring? I don't know. What do you guys think? So there is... I'm going to call that a ring, not so much, well, let me give it another try. Huh? No, so if I use this, it's not going to work out as well. Okay, so scrap the tan idea, and let's go with the pinks. Um, and now let's see what we can do with the diamond. I mean, is this, is that it? Is that our diamond ring? Something like that? I don't know. What if we did this on top? Would that look like a ring? That would look like a ring. And then what if we put some gemstones around it? 
right? Like this. And then maybe we add some more embellishments up here, maybe some gold, right? Okay, and then, um, but man, I wanna go, yeah, I wanna use the upside down version. But what we're gonna use is, we're gonna use this as the diamond, right? I mean, you can see it a little bit better. You can see the fact that this is a diamond ring better than the other version that was just not 100% diamond ringy. So if we, <coughs> excuse me. So we're almost four minutes in, almost a minute left. So if we did something like this, and maybe, maybe we add a little more embellishments on the bottom. Something like that, right? And then furthermore, something like this, and something like that. There, there we go. So we have ourselves, not very symmetrical. I'm actually going to take these off. And then use these. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simpler the better sometimes. The more embellishments sometimes just distract from what you're trying to build. And I think we're almost up to five minutes of time. You know, that doesn't help. Um, that's a ring. So hopefully you were able to make a ring as well. Again, if you want to play along with us, the link to the kit is down below. And I think it's about 13 to $15 on Amazon. So make sure to go pick that up and then you can play along with us each and every day. I think, um, I think this one turned out okay. Again, it's simple, but in this case, I think simpler, the better. Uh, the same goes for diamond rings. I find the simpler the diamond engagement ring is, the nicer it is. Um, so there you go. So there we have ourselves a diamond ring that's ready for Valentine's Day for, you know, maybe, maybe you're, you have a loved one and you want to create them a diamond ring out of Legos for, the val for their Valentine. Um, go right ahead. Use this. Copy this design if you want. <clears throat> if not, modify it. Make it better. You know, maybe you go and get gold pieces for this instead uh, that you can order on Brickware, Brick Link or on the Lego Dots store. So go give that a try. Um, then you could have your own gold, golden version of this uh, diamond ring. And uh, I, think, I think it turned out fairly well. Again, I think it turned out very simple. But in this case, I think that's the right way to go. I think the right way to go is to keep it simple, keep it easy, less embellishments, the better. And it turned out to be pretty, pretty good. So there you go. I hope that you were able to build something in the five minutes of time that you were building with us. If not, try again tomorrow and keep going. It doesn't know. You don't necessarily have to stop at five minutes. Five minutes is just a guideline for myself to try to get something for the video, for you guys, the viewers, that is short and sweet. And I think the five minute video is pretty good in that regard. So if you wanna keep playing along, go ahead, Just make something that's better than this. And uh, hopefully you share it with us on our social medias. Now let's talk about what we're gonna to build tomorrow. And also there's some links to our social medias later on. So go check it out. See you everybody, bye bye. <laughs> Well, that was a cool build. Now we're going to spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build next in our weeks of Valentine's Day. So let's see what it is. It's a butterfly. Butterflies in your tummy. Let's go build a butterfly ready for Valentine's Day. Let's go check it out tomorrow. And I'll leave you with this. I want everybody in our community to make something and share something each and every day. That's the whole point of this channel is to have a community of makers going ahead and making whatever they love to make.
I think you'll be happier and more engaged in life if you just go ahead and make something today. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.